So I can't believe this actually. Pardon me. Where was the one that I wanted it to start on? Event Horizon? Shoot, which was my favorite one? I forgot. There we go. Okay, so I had a conversation with ChatGPT. <laughs> That's how it starts. For text rendering, this was how I initially came across this. I asked it, I said, so DirectX 11 has the Sprite font class for rendering text GUI. Does OpenGL have anything with C++ for rendering text? And then it comes up with, uh, what did it say? It had all these. And then where did it actually where does it actually say this? How did I come across this? Oh right here. It's in answer number three. If you're using GLFW for windowing and input management, you can use its built-in text rendering support. I had no idea what the doesn't actually have any information on the GLFW website. So then it walked me through this uh, the other day, and then what I did today was, I said, give me a basic example, core profile version 3.3 to demonstrate nano G VG. Went through this, had a couple of errors, went through all this stuff, okay? Here's the result here. Okay, so we have nano, VG, which in order to install this, uh, let me show you really quickly how I did this. So I downloaded the master file right here. Okay. Opened it up. I basically just copied this right here, this whole file directory. I copied it into where I put my um, OpenGL stuff. Called it nano instead of source. And I have it right here. Okay, I went in and I added nanovg.c, kind of like glad, right? Added it right there. Go into properties, do your stuff here. You go to VC directories. I added nano in the um, include directories. I'll show you that really quick. So we got OpenGL and OpenGL nano. So that points out the .h files that it's being used and that it's using. Sorry, I'm kind of excited about this, but I just want to get through this really quickly. I added this to the preprocessor definitions because it was having issues with some of the old code that is quote unquote unsafe to use. Um, and then it was able to use this. It, this is the uh, header file here. I'm going to start using this for text rendering instead of I am GUI maybe? I don't know. And then this is the code, nano VG OpenGL example. Okay. Um, initialize nano VG. You create a context there, anti-alias, stencil strokes, debug, VG, GLFW terminate if not. Load a font, if it doesn't work, it terminates, and same thing. So load a font here. Here's your path to the font. And I just copied a font into the fonts directory there in my main working directory. Um, everything else is good as far as OpenGL, nothing new except for this right here. And this renders hello nano VG. So begin frame. See, doesn't that sound exactly like I am GUI? So I, I suspect that I am GUI uses it as well, which is cool. I'm, I'm down for that, but if I am GUI is just, you know, it just, just includes a lot of other things, then I just learned a, a new thing. So anyways. Begin frame, font size, font face ID, text align, fill color, text, end frame, and then delete GL3 down here. Let me show you what it looks like when I run it. it looks like this. Hello, Nano VG. Get a screenshot there. We're going to put this up. Okay. I hope this helps somebody because it's native C++ uh, GLFW rendering uh, in uh, OpenGL.
All right. Thanks again. Have a good night.